Hello and welcome to another Baldy Tim's Reviews and this is video 8 of the bedroom refurbishment and redecorating series. Today should be just a fairly short video because all we're going to do on this one is to change this light for the brand new unit that uh, my wife's chosen. So I'm just going to get that one off, change it over and show you what's what. So let's get started. So this is the uh, light she's chosen. It's the Elena or Elena large five light flush fitting from Next. And we well, can see what the price uh, was there. Can't say that's really to my taste, but she loves this kind of thing. So, to keep a little bit of marital bliss going, I better get this fitted very shortly. So I've got my little bag of electrical tools here. And what I'm also gonna probably need is some of these Wago connectors. Uh, these are fantastic things, they really are. Uh, just make such a secure electrical connection that you know is never gonna sort of pull away or sort of pull out and get loose and cause problems in the future and so easy to use as well. So hopefully I'll show you that in a bit. So I think it's time to get this old light off and set about getting the new one up there. So we'll just start by getting the uh, uh, the old lamp out. So just a bit of fitting so that can come out there. And then we'll just get the old lamp shade off. There we go, so that's off, and that's just on screws to reveal the wiring inside. Uh, I've actually already turned the power off, obviously, very important. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, get my tester up there just to make sure it is definitely dead, no electricity coming through, but then it'll, I'll know 100% for certain that it's safe to work on. So that's the uh, tester. So that end goes on the neutral side, just like that. And that one onto the positive or the live side. And you can hear it sort of buzzing, but it's not lighting up to tell me there's 243. So that means it is 100% safe to work on now. So with that in mind, I'll get all the wires out of the terminals and get this old light fitting off, which is just held in by a couple of, uh, sort of cross-headed screws by the looks of it. So we'll just have uh, one cross-head screwdriver and one little terminal driver for the terminals here. So we'll sort of start with that one and get all these old wires loosened off. And the earths, which go in this terminal here. So I'll just get those out as well. Just hoik all the cables out. And there we go, they're all out. So what we have, this is a typical British a light installation, what we call three plate. And all that means is you've got three cables containing a total of nine wires coming in. Uh, one set of three or one cable is the feed in. Uh, another three is your feed off to the next light in the circuit. And the final set of three is the switch wire which then goes off down to the switch. So that explains that. So let's get this off. So 
Right, these earth wires are actually twisted together, which isn't a done thing in this day and age, so I'm just going to untwist them and get them all uh, sort of into their individual kind of, uh, well, just get them individual and unseparated there. So there's one. Right, old light fitting off. Okay, so this wire here with the little red tab on it, that's our switch wire. So I'm gonna take care of him first because we don't wanna mix that one up. Because under our system here, it's actually the same color as the neutrals. It's actually the same color as the neutrals, so, uh, which if you start mixing lives and neutrals up, you're gonna get a bit of a bang. <laughs> so we actually kind of distinguish them. We actually distinguish them by putting a little bit of uh, brown sleeving on. Uh, brown being the current UK colors for uh, uh, sort of live conductors. Uh, they used to be red back in the old days, but no more. So I've got that on. So I'm now going to put the first way go on, just a sort of a twin one, just a double one is required here. So it just pushes in. And there you go, that's all there is to it. That's that connection made for that one. So just gonna do the same for all of these others. So the way you go connectors just need a bit of bit more stripping back. So just going to use these and uh, wire strippers just to get a bit more copper showing. So they go into the way it goes really nice and easy. Right, so I'm gonna go and get a couple more way goes. So we're gonna need three for the the three these three are what we call the permanent lives. Uh, that one I've just done is a switch live, so it only goes live when you switch it. So the permanent's obviously is live all the time. And then the two neutrals. So the permanent lives are gonna need a three-way way you go. And I'm gonna need another three-way for the neutrals. So let's get those sorted out now. Okay, so I've got a couple of three-way way, three way way goes there. I don't know if you can quite see that. So I'm going to put one, one onto my permanent lives and just push in like that. One. Two. Give them a tug just to make sure they're fully home, which they are. Third one goes in there. And that's already in as well. So that is our uh, sort of permanent life done. So I'll get the other onto here. Even though there's only two neutrals here, uh, we need a three-way because of course the new light's gonna have a neutral to go into as well. So going just in the same way, you push those in. One. Two. So that is our uh, sort of lives and neutrals. So we're just going to do the earth or the CPCs, as a proper electrician would call them, uh, commonly known as earth. So let us just sort those out as well. They're the ones that are twisted together, so I'll just straighten them up first of all, get them all nice. ready for some uh, sleeving. So we'll get that now. And that just covers them up so uh, you haven't got sort of just bare copper. But it also identifies the conductors as to what they are as well. So that future people working here know what the score is. So they're all sleeved up, 
three of my earths all sleeved up so that's going to need a four way way go because uh, again I'm going to have one from the new light fitting coming in there as well so I got a uh, four way way go so I'm going to just push the, these in I'm just going to use uh, to push these in I'm just going to use some uh, long nose pliers here because uh, then I can just give them a good old yank back just make sure they don't pop out because these are the most important ones to make sure you've got secure of course because they are a very important safety feature right there we go so all I need to do now is just to get my new light bracket up there and the new light will be ready to pop on. Right, so it's time to get this absolutely enormous light bracket on here. So what I'm gonna do is I think we can reutilize one of our old holes here, which I know goes into solid wood up there. And we'll just try and get that straight. And mark another hole position there. So this is an old broken uh, terminal driver, which I just used to probe, just to make sure we've got joists and things above. Yeah, so we're gonna get a really good solid fixing for this. So let's get a couple of screws and a screwdriver and get this fixed. There we go, so that's that bracket on, fixed nicely. So, got a nice firm fix in there. Not that this fitting's particularly heavy, I don't think, but uh, it's always nice to know it's gonna be up there nice and solidly. So I just noticed that wasn't at all straight and square on the room, because it's a square fitting. Uh, so we need to make sure we have it square on the room. Um, when I stood back, so it's very important not just because you can't gauge it at all when you're working up close. Uh, so what you need to do is just uh, uh, stand back away, maybe go this end and that end, and just make sure it's totally straight. So we'll do that and then put the screw back in. So we're looking good now. Right, that looks straight to me and again, nice and firm. So now we've got everything sorted out on the light or ceiling side of things. We now need to sort the light side of things out. And what these guys give you is this sort of connector arrangement here. So that end will um, sort of go in up, up there and when I'm ready to put the light on, that just literally just plugs into there and away you go. But um, uh, what I'm gonna have to do is just prepare some very short lengths, lengths of uh, 1.5 mil uh, solid wire. So, and then I'm gonna sort of get them ready into terminals in there and then we'll sort of get them offered up to the ceiling after that. So just start off by stripping these back. In the neutral wood as well. So just uh, where they're gonna go into that connector, I'll just uh, bend that back. So double up the 
a uh, bit of cable so that just gives it a bit more of a firm connection inside the connector do the same on that one and do the same on the earth wire as well there we go so uh, we've got uh, live earth neutral so i'll start off with the live one uh, pop in the him in there and get a screwdriver make sure that's nice and tight pop the earth one in nice and tight there we go and neutral into there Nice and tight. There we go. And sleeve that one up on our earth sleeving. There we go. So that will just plug into the way he goes up the top, which I'll do now. And yeah, then I think we're just about ready to offer the light up. Okay, so we'll put the uh, uh, this end of their plug that you get with the light, and we'll bung them into our Wagos. So one into the Earth CPC, that one there into the Switch Live connector, that one there into the neutral so we'll just try and get all this sort of as neat and tidy as we can as well doesn't have to be too bunched up or anything because we've got absolutely masses of room inside this fitting so I think we are about ready to offer that light up there so it's just going to be a question of bringing it up, plugging in there, and then popping it on to there. So up we go. We we'll just plug in. So that's plugged in, and we just offer this up here. Let's just get the screws uh, in place and offer that up. First screw to go in there. Bit of a fiddly process this sometimes. Yeah, I've got that screw located and in. And just do one down this end. and tighten up with a crosshead screwdriver. There we go, all nice and tight. Right, yeah, I think we're just about on there now. First thing I'm going to do is get a long, long, long lead and attach that to the earthing terminal on the on our consumer unit, and then bring the other end up with my meter and just make sure that uh, the earth connections I've just made are actually good. Uh, they should be, but uh, I need to verify that. And then there'll be another couple of tests, and then a live test something we call a loop test. I'll show you that one as well, just show you two, two of the tests, the most important ones really. Uh, so, and then we'll get the light on and see uh, what this thing looks like. Okay, I'm just going to check for earth continuity. So, got my long, long wander lead as they're called. So 
So that will plug in there. Put that up on, onto the metal body somewhere. And yeah, I've got a... So, that's good. So I'm just going to disconnect this. Just turn that off, annoying bleeping. Uh, so although I've just shown you how to do this, I would recommend that you get a uh, qualified electrician in, purely and simply because you probably won't have one of these or one of these multifunction testers, as they're called, uh, which is a reasonably pricey bit of kit. So not many DIYers are going to have one of those lying around. It's proper electrician's kit. Uh, and you do need it to verify safety 100%. So although you've seen me doing this, I have got electrical qualifications. And if you haven't, and you haven't got this sort of kit, I would recommend that you just get a, an electrician in to, to do this work, really. Okay, so this is a loop test, which is just a different setting on my special meter here, electrician's meter. So basically, this tests for earthy and again, but it's a live test rather than a dead test. So. Right, just wait a minute until it warms up and away we go. Yeah, 1.39 ohms on that on that test, which is well, well within parameters. It's about a quarter of the maximum. So everything is tickety-boo. So all we need to do is lamp up, uh, switch on, make sure everything works. Right, time to lamp up and they actually that's actually the type of lamp it takes. Now, unfortunately, my wife's uh, got halogen ones. With the halogen ones, you have to make sure that you hold them in with a bit of tissue and not directly skin on the glass. Uh, otherwise, they'll go a lot more quickly. Yeah, so just make sure you don't touch the glass directly. Just get a bit of tissue or something and then what they do is they just literally push in to the fitting like so. Got no, another five, to, uh, four to do, so that's number two. As I say, I do wish they were LED ones uh, that she'd got, but what I think I'll do, yeah, because they just use so much less power and just save on the old electricity bills and you haven't got so much heat going through the fitting either. But what I think I'll do is I'll just wait until a couple of these blow and when a couple of them are gone I'll just replace all five with LED ones uh, which don't blow so quickly and last much longer so yeah that will definitely be the way to go but these will do for now and number five into this corner right let's go and switch on shall we see what we've got okay so we have got the new light installed and it's looking very blingy <laughs> just uh, what my wife will absolutely love but all i've got to do for my part is just flick the switch here which is just here so let's go for it three two one hey there we go so we've got one two three four five workers uh, working lamps in there so no the installation is totally safe thanks to my tests you just saw me doing I did a couple of others as well but uh, they're a bit more well not really much to see with those so uh, they all transpired to be good as well so yeah all looking good so that's been video eight of the bedroom refurb series that's Tim from Baldy Tim's Reviews. Thanks for watching.